Hi viewers, I am Nadeem. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to the Farooq Academy. Today we will discuss chapter number 13, exercise 13A, book D3. This exercise is divided into two parts. Today we will discuss part number one, further trigonometry. In further trigonometry, we will discuss the symmetrical, that is a geometrical uh, properties of a circle. So geometrical properties of a circle. So uh, are symmetrical properties of a circle. So in question number one, question number part A. In given circle, we have to find the values of x and y in each case. We have to find the value of x and y in each case. So that is your value y. So before finding the values of x and y, first two properties should be memorized by you. Property number one, if a line bisect the chord, not a diameter, so it will be perpendicular to the chord and vice versa. If a line bisect the chord, so it will be perpendicular to the chord and vice versa. For example, for example, you see here, that is a line that is uh, bisect the chord. So if this line bisect the chord, that is AB your chord bisect the line, so it will be perpendicular, that is making 90 angle. So uh, from this property, we have come to this conclusion that the value of Y is 90 degree because uh, the chord CD uh, is uh, bisect by the line uh, OL which is perpendicular to CD, so it definitely it will be 90 degree. Similarly, in property number 2, if cards are equidistant from the center, they will be equal to each other. If cards are equidistant from the center, so if cards are equidistant, for example, this one card AB and card CD, equidistant, if OL is equal to OM, so it means they are equidistant, so cards will be equal to each other. So definitely the length of CD must be equal to the length of AB. So this is the your uh, uh, so these are the properties uh, which should be memorized by you to solve this exercise. So coming to the question, so these are the two properties, it should be memorized. So in question number A part, you see the diagram, we have to find the value of x and y. So uh, in diagram it is clear that AB is equal to 12 centimeter AB is equal to 12 centimeter okay, as OL is equal to OM OL is equal to OM OL is equal to OM so AB is equal to CD AB is equal to CD because if this equidistance OL is equal to M, so they are equidistant, so they must be equal, AB must be equal to CD, and we have to find the value of X, it is X, so it is equal to 12, because AB is equal to 12, so it means CD also be equal to 12, so by using property second, just we have discussed in first step, so that is your property number second due to this we have proved it similarly if uh, ol and om are the parts of radii so they are perpendicular to each other so it means definitely uh, they having 90 angle so uh, due to property number one uh, so due to property number one uh, the angle OLB uh, is equal to Y must be equal to OLD. So this angle must be equal to 90 degree due to property number 1. So that is your result. Now coming to the next part. B part also first of all you have to draw the diagram
E, B is the card, C, D, another card having center O, L, M. So this length is equal to 22 and we have to find this one represented by x and this angle represented by y we have to find this similarly again same type of question is given to you so once again you, you can see here the value of ab is equal to 22 centimeter and as ol is equal to om so ab is equal to cd is equal to 22 centimeter centimeter so that is due to property number second property second so that is your result similarly next part as md is equal to cm by fig it is equal to x it is equal to 22 divided by 2 is equal to 11 centimeter because x is the half of cd so we have to divide you see here so uh, that's why uh, this portion is half of the full card so 11 centimeter so the value of y is equal to omt which is must be equal to the 90 degree due to property number one due to property number one so here is your required result now coming to the c part So the O is the center having OA 13 this one is 5 we have to find Y and we have to find this one that is X so we can calculate this by using these two properties that is property 1 and property 2nd so uh, triangle AOC AOC so taking this triangle first triangle AOC here in triangle AOC AC is equal to OA square minus OC square by Pythagoras theorem we will get 13 5 you will get 169 so that is your AC square but you need the value of AC that is equal to 144 under 12 centimeter so as AC is equal to BC which is equal to X and which is equal to 12 centimeter so basically that is your first result Similarly, now to find the angle Y. So, as Y is equal to tan inverse X by 5. If you see or consider this triangle OCB, so tan inverse perpendicular by base, so you will get 
the value is what is the value of x that is 12 by 5 so we will get the result that is 67.38 degree so that is your result now coming to the D part in D part first of all we have to draw the diagram which is very much necessary to understand first chord that is AB mm. is CD this card is 16 centimeter, this card is 26 centimeter and that is your central point. O that is your X M this figure is given to us in your textbook and we have to find the values of unknown that is x and uh, y that is your y angle so we have to find first we have to take the triangle that is uh, from the figure you can see that the value of ab is 26 so you have to write the given data that is 26 centimeter CD is equal to 16 centimeter OC is equal to OC is equal to 17 centimeter since M is the midpoint of AB and N is the midpoint of CD M is the midpoint of AB and N is the midpoint of CD so it means if we need AM or if we need CN, so definitely dividing by 2. So uh, since uh, M is the midpoint, midpoint of AB, therefore we need the value of M which is definitely 26 divided by 2, so we will get 13 centimeter and now consider the triangle O A M this triangle you will consider this triangle that is uh, In triangle OAM, OA is equal to 17 centimeter, OM is equal to X, and AM is equal to 13 centimeter. So, by using uh, Pythagoras theorem, you can find the minus 13 square OM you will get so you actually OM is equal to X square but you need the value of X so, so the value of X is 10.95 by using calculator so the value of x is so now taking n is the midpoint of cd first we have taken that m is the midpoint of ab now n is the midpoint of cd so uh, that is the reason you can say that cn is equal to 16 by 2 is equal to 8 centimeter so in uh, triangle again onc 
O and C. So now taking this triangle, uh, which is uh, highlighted as so, uh, you will get result. So in this triangle, you can say that y is equal to tan inverse. Uh, x by so the value here is cn value is 8 and that is 17 because in this perpendicular by so that is the value 8 so having this value is 8 this is 17 so we have to find the angle y so perpendicular by so the value will give you tan inverse uh, after using calculator you will get uh, 61.93 degree so that is your result now coming to the e e part First of all, we have to draw the configuration in your, from your textbook. That is, Now you see here the this one is 20 we have to find x then this one is 12 and we have to find y also so that is your point B and that is your point A now in this given configuration we have to find the value of x and y so the value of x and y first of all we see in your textbook that is OA is equal to 12 centimeter it is given to us AB is equal to 20 centimeter OB is equal to actual x OB is equal to x so by using Pythagoras, therefore OA plus OB is equal to AB. 12. This is your x square. And the value of AB is 20. So we need the value of x, so you will get, if I shift this, shift this, so you will get the value of x square is equal to 256, and you will get 60 centimeter, so that is your result, the value of x, but now, we have to find the value of y also as y is equal to tan inverse by the same methodology as we have calculated earlier so the value of y is 53.13 degree so that is what is it now f part Now part number F, first of all we have to draw the diagram in our textbook, the diagram is see here, that is your first card, 
card C D A B O So this is your given figure. We have to find the value of x and y. So first of all, as m is the central mid center midpoint of CD and L is the midpoint of AB, AB is given that is 10, CD is given that is 12. So you can find easily this portion because divided by 2 you will get 6 and 6 also so like this uh, m taking m as a center so we can say that uh, so cm will be equal to 12 divided by 2 you will get 6 meter or 6 uh, centimeters so so by using Pythagoras theorem, if you take this triangle that is OLA, O L A, by considering this triangle, uh, you will get the OM by OMC. Okay, first of all, you can take this triangle, then this triangle. Now we take suppose this triangle, so you will get the values as. OC the value of OM is 5 same as 6 so by calculating you have that so you need the value of OC only not square so that is the reason taking square root so 61 under root so that is your the value of OC so actually the radius of circle is equal to OC which is equal to under root uh, 61 now again uh, we take the another triangle so if we take the other triangle uh, that is O L A so you will get a triangle <coughs> O E L sorry so my dear students you can see here the value of O L is equal to X A L is equal to 10 divided by 2 you will get 5 centimeters and OA is equal to under root 61 so by using Pythagoras theorem the OA as OA OL that is OL is X but we need the value of x therefore x square is equal to 61 minus that is 36 you need the value of x under root 6 so the value of x is 6 centimeter uh, now we have to 
find the value of y as y is equal to 10 inverse 6 by 5 6 by 5 just we have calculated its value is 6 by 5 so that is equal to um, and this one is 5 because 10 divided by 2 you will get the value of this portion al so that is equal to 5 centimeters so 5 by 6 by 5 so the value of y is 10 inverse 6 by 5 you will get 50.19 degree so that is your required result now coming to the question number 2 in question number 2 AB is a chord of a circle center O with radius 17 cm if AB is equal to 16 cm find the distance of O from AB ok uh, when you solve the um, question number 2 so first of all you have to uh, draw the diagram from your, then you will be able to um, solve accordingly so in question number 2 first of all we have to uh, draw the diagram that is uh, so we can see here that is your AB is a chord having center O so this point is D here is 17 centimeter and the value is up to this that is 16 centimeter and this point is known as D so you have a clear triangle and you can use Pythagoras theorem because here is the 90 angle so you can apply Pythagoras theorem but we have to find what here you have to write that we need the value of OD and and the value of AB is given that is 16 centimeter and the value of OB is 17 centimeter so uh, by Pythagoras theorem OB is equal to OD that is R you can write as you need the value of OD so shift here putting the values simplification you will get the value of OD is 225 but you need the value of only OD so taking under root so you will get 15 centimeter is your required result now coming to the question number three if we read the statement A chord of length 24 cm is at a distance of 5 cm from the center of a circle. Find the radius of the circle. So once again you have to draw the... That is A and B. Question number 3. That is your O point. So here is your 5 centimeter. This point is D. And there uh, is your AD is that is the full length is uh, 24 centimeter. Uh, 
uh, that is up to this one and so you have to solve it carefully so what to do in this situation what we have to find here we have to find this one it means OA we have to find now by using Pythagoras theorem OA is equal to AD plus OD so putting the values that is 12 so by simplification you will get uh, this one so that is your OA square but you need only one 13 centimeter so that is your result but it should be noted here that I have used the value of 12 here instantly but how is it possible because as AD is equal to AB divided by 2 so that is the reason I have used the value of AD AB is 24 so divided by 2 you will get 12 centimeters so the value of AD is this one so I have used this value from here the value of AD is because I have already cleared from the diagram that is the value of AB and you need the value of AD so 24 divided by 2 you will get this and this value will be equal to 12 so uh, coming to the question number four question number four a chord of a circle of radius 8.5 centimeter is 5 centimeter from the center find its length Okay, once again you have to draw the diagram and that is AB that is low point that is 5 cm and you have to join this and that is your 8.5 cm that is your point D so now in this question we have to find AD to find question uh, question number four find its length find its length chord length it means we have to find a b but first we have to find a d because we have this triangle then multiply by two you will get the whole length so you need the value of a b and o a is given to us 8.5 centimeter OD is equal to 5 centimeters so by Pythagoras theorem OA is equal to AD OD so we need the value of AD After simplification, we will get but you need the value of uh, only AD. So, what should you do? The value of AD is equal to 47.25 under root. So, the value of AD is 6.87 centimeter. 
as I have already told you that we have to find the value of AB and we have to multiply it. Therefore, the value of AB is equal to twice the AD. So the value of AD just we have calculated. So that's why we have to multiply it 6.87 with 2. So you will get the result that is 13.74 centimeter. So that is your required result. So, uh, my dear students, we have completed the first part of uh, exercise 13a. So, I hope that it will be helpful to you. So, thanks a lot. Thank you for watching.